Well, hello YouTube. Here we are. Good morning. Have ourselves a start to another day. Well, it's been a couple days again since I vlogged, but hey, the weather change uh, does that to me. And yeah, welcome to our vlog. So, here we go. Well, as you see, we got ourselves probably a good uh, half inch to an inch of snow. Uh, didn't really cause much issues or uh, no one issues on the roadways. So I guess we could call that as a bonus. I guess uh, the annual meeting of the uh, Summer Tires Club has already, you know, come and gone. So hopefully by now they've already got their winter tires changed on over and uh, well, they're not going to get into any accidents. I think the only thing that I heard that was uh, reported was uh, somebody backed into or drove into a gas meter, uh, which of course caused a gas leak, which then had the appropriate response teams to come on through. Well, as for me, of course, I've been uh, keeping on, keeping on, editing videos, trying to get things caught up from all the uh, running around. I had a couple of phone calls today about certain matters, so I've been dealing with uh, some of that. So, a bit of a later start to the day, but I guess uh, she is what she is. Um, hopefully, we can get things wrapped up on that one matter and then uh, continue on what we're going to do from there because, well, it's uh, something that's of very much importance. And uh, to make sure the paperwork is in place for well when the next time it happens again so we don't have to go through all of this a second time around so of course as for uh well uh the whole youtube thing i've gained a few subscribers in the last couple of days which i'm uh, very very grateful for i know it's hard to uh, accurately represent your channel in uh, the fall of the year and uh, going into winter time especially when well the uh financial uh, thing is not there to uh, do your travels and your channel uh, projects like you like to do but I'm hoping if we can uh, well keep her together we can have ourselves a good um, you know summer uh, spring and summer for next year <clears throat> there's a few things I'm wanting to do like I've mentioned it before so uh, we'll see how that uh, plays on out I'll currently got the old silver auto started up it's uh, well, been a good old truck for me. I have a few choices I need to make in the next little while on the future of this here truck. Whether I should keep it and uh, keep her around as a backup or a second, or if I should, uh, well, just plain and simple, you know, let her go and uh, whether sell it or trade it off on another vehicle. I know it's come in handy this time around with uh, losing the 2015 Canyon and uh, I don't know what I would drive without it. However, uh, the way things have gone, I can't daily drive this here truck with, uh, well, with the injuries that I've, I've had happen. But it's a good truck for lumber runs or uh, dump runs and occasional driving. So um, nothing's cheaper than a vehicle that's paid for the day you bring it home, right? So, of course, guys, gonna strike on out, do a couple of things see what's the what and uh, well you kissed her we'll probably see y'all later well the okay day was good uh, just doing or did a little bit of running around a little bit of things I uh, got a phone call and uh, email on uh, some more paperwork to do so uh, I got to get that all well squared away and took care of Went out, of course, did some running around, and uh, came on home. Uh, ended up crashing for a couple hours. The uh, weather is changing once more. I don't know which direction it's going. Uh, right now we're getting snow, so does that mean it's going to get colder? Or are going to get warmer? All I know is, well, I feel the weather change, and, uh, well, it's driving me crazy. What does the guy do to... Uh, uh, relieve pain without taking 
uh, well, too much Tylenol or, you know, T3s or whatever, right? It's uh, one of them things, uh, do you cross that road? Do you go another direction and uh, try something more? Something different, something uh, possibly better? However, with all that, there is uh, consequences and uh, repercussions on, uh, well, all that as well, right? Um, I know Tylenol and Advil and all that stuff, they attack certain uh, organs in your body and cause, uh, you know, kidney failure, which I've already uh, have uh, issues going on. And uh, Advil has other side effects, just like Tylenol. And uh, what what things do you do, right? So pretty much just got back from heading on out again. Stopped by the old grocery store, picked up another uh, two bags of groceries. It's hard to believe that... $68 uh, of groceries fit in two small shopping bags. It's like, wow, you know, something that uh, you normally would pay three, four dollars for now is like, you know, seven, eight dollars, and it's, the prices are gone up on certain items. And uh, when, when will it stop, right? You know, do uh, we uh, have to start growing our own food? Um, you know, tearing up the back driveway here and uh, putting it back. Uh, to a garden patch, you know, back the way it used to be. Do we need to do that, you know, and show the the producers and show the powers that be that set the prices that uh, we won't pay $27 for a, a small piece of steak when we can go out and, uh, you know, pair up with a family or two and uh, get a cow or two and get what you need a lot cheaper. <clears throat> I know a lot of us don't have time to uh, grow our own meat or harvest our own vegetables, but at the same time, I think that's what's got us into this situation, is we've become a nation that wants things now or instantly. You know, hence the fast food and the drive through and the microwaves and all that now. You know, we don't want to wait six months to grow our produce and, uh, you know, grow our beef, right? <clears throat> Makes you wonder, you know, if our grandparents and great-grandparents thought in uh, 50, 60 years, 100 years, if things would have been this way, if it would have changed this much. You know, it makes you wonder if, um, it makes you wonder if our kids, what their lifestyle is going to be like in another, what, 40, 50 years, you know, I'm sure I'll be gone by then. But with the technology the way it's going, with things the way it's going, um, people come home from work and they don't leave their house. If they're hungry, they order in food, order in pizza or takeout. Um, you know, they've got fridges nowadays that can order in uh, groceries for you, so you technically don't even have to leave. That makes great sense for people like seniors or people in with limited mobilities that can't get out, but for the average person isn't the whole uh, point of the outing is the outing itself it's the journey you know the the socialization or the getting out of the house but I think our stress levels as I think our stress levels as a human race is gotten so high at our jobs in our day-to-day -day lives that when we come home um, that's all we want to do you know we don't want to engage our friends anymore we don't want to uh, go out anymore and you know maybe twice a month if you're lucky you go out to uh, your favorite watering hole and uh, tear one off and end up in the back of a cop car but really you know that's interesting society how it's become so you know time will tell on how uh, how all that works out but pretty much guys I think gonna fire up the sandwich maker that I got for Christmas a few years ago make some uh, hamburger and cheese make some ham and cheese I think uh, sandwiches and uh, well see where the night goes from there so we'll probably see y'all when it's dark time for a closing update first of all I'd like to say uh, remember we do have a post office box for fan mail and such send me a letter send me a decal you know all your uh, good stuff there if it's a, uh, a letter or so, and it's decent, of course, I will write back. If you send me a decal, I will mail one in return. The uh, address is down below in the description. Of course, check out the uh, Facebook fan page, as well as uh, Twitters. 
Again, links are down below for those ones as well. Feel free to browse across the other channels and uh, check out those videos and, uh, well, go from there. Well, today was a good day. Got a bit done. Got, uh, well, emails sent, phone calls made. Got to get some paperwork filled out and then, uh, well, it'll all be uh, next leg uh, in the works. No idea how or, um, or why things work out the way they do, but uh, they seem to and I know they will work out. Uh, in time, they always, uh, they always do. You know, sometimes uh, people feel the pressure and uh, they need to get things done uh, right now, right away in uh, their time. But at the same time, uh, things work out on their own if you just let things be and uh, don't stress about it. The uh, funny part is, is it's only been a few months when I was stressing about certain things and I had to basically deal with the problem on my own and uh, solve it as best as I could because nobody was there to help me when I uh, needed help from them. So it basically is what it is and uh, well, kinda will be will be. But like I said, gonna end her all here. Today was a good day, tomorrow's another one. Uh, maybe um, I can get a couple of videos shot tomorrow and uh, edit it up as well. Try to keep uh, the uh, semi-momentum I've gained going. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's Vlogs. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.